Rottweiler Colors What well, colors are safe and one that is not? The Rottweiler is a working dog breed that has been serving alongside humans for centuries, but is only recently that the Rottweiler has become a popular choice for a companion canine, a family pet. Whenever a dog breed becomes very popular, this drives up demand for more puppies. Increased demand can pressure dog breeders and may open the door for less ethical breeding operations such as puppy mills. This is often when you see dogs marketed as having unusual coat colors. Sometimes, this is a genetic fluke, but often, it is a deliberate attempt to charge higher prices for Rottweiler puppies. Before choosing a Rottweiler puppy, you need to know how coat color can affect your new dog's health. In this video, we review Rottweiler colors and share information you need to know to choose your Rottie puppy wisely. Rottweiler colors come in two categories. The first is American Kennel Club recognized colors. These are the colors considered desirable for show dog purposes. The second is so-called rare or unusual colors. Several genetic reasons a Rottweiler might have a coat color other than what is described in the official Rottweiler breed standard. It is important to learn as much as possible about why a Rottweiler has an unusual coat color before committing to a lifetime of care. The Rottweiler is the eighth most popular breed on the AKC rolls. The AKC is the official keeper of the official breed standard for all 197 dog breeds in their registry. These breed standards are submitted to the AKC by the official purebred breed club for each breed. The official Rottweiler breed standard is very clear about what Rottweiler colors and markings are acceptable for show dog standards. Then we will look at what the Rottweiler breed standard states are unacceptable colors or markings on a well-bred Rottweiler dog. A KC approved Rottweiler outer coat colors. A well-bred Rottweiler dog should have the following colors in the outer coat. Black and rust. Black and mahogany. Black and tan. A KC approved Rottweiler undercoat colors. Rottweilers are a working dog breed. Like nearly all working dog breeds, Rottweilers have a double-layer coat. While the only visible layer in most cases is the outer coat, the inner lining, the coating layer closest to the skin, also has a color. The AKC breed standard for Rottweilers states that these are the only acceptable colors for a Rottie undercoat. Gray, tan, black. AKC approved Rottweiler coat markings. Rottweilers are bicolor dogs. Here bicolor refers to the colors on the top or outer coat layer only. The color of the bottom coat layer doesn't count as a third color, even if it is different from either of the two colors in the top coat layer. According to the AKC Rottweiler breed standard, all Rottweilers should have a very specific set of markings in very specific places to be considered well-bred by show dog standards. The breed standard specifies here a proper Rottweiler coat color pattern. The coat should always have black as the dominant color. The secondary color of rust, mahogany, or tan should not exceed 10% of the overall color content of the outer coat layer. The secondary color should appear in the following places. Cheeks, over each eye, on either side of the muzzle in a thin strip, on the throat, on either side of the chest, on the ankles and toes of the front legs, on hind legs from stifle a hawk, under the tail. A KC non approved Rottweiler coat colors and markings. The official Rottweiler breed standard is also very specific about which colors and markings are disallowed or considered serious faults by show dog standards. The breed standard specifies that the following colors and markings on a Rottweiler dog are serious concerns. Any primary base color except black. Any white markings except very few random white hairs. Any secondary color markings fall outside the approved areas on the dog's body. Secondary coat colors exceed 10% surface area on the dog's body. Single coat coloration on a Rottweiler. Minimal or sooty secondary coat colors. Straw colored markings. What you need to know about rare Rottweiler colors. As you can see, breeding a show quality Rottweiler with all the right colors in all the right places can be very complicated. A KC non approved Rottweiler coat colors and markings. The official Rottweiler breed standard is also very specific about which colors and markings are disallowed or considered serious faults by show dog standards. The breed standard specifies that the following colors and markings on a Rottweiler dog are serious concerns. Any primary, base, color except black. Any white markings except very few random white hairs. Any secondary color markings fall outside the approved areas on the dog's body. Secondary coat colors exceed 10% surface area on the dog's body. Single coat coloration on a Rottweiler. Minimal or sooty secondary coat colors. Straw colored markings. What you need to know about rare Rottweiler colors? As you can see, breeding a show quality Rottweiler with all the right colors in all the right places can be very complicated. But unless you are planning to show your Rottweiler at a KC sponsored events or want to breed purebred Rottweilers, it isn't necessarily beneficial to hold out for a Rottweiler that meets all the criteria in the official breed standard. 
What is necessary is to notice when a Rottweiler puppy or rescue dog has coat colors that are very unlike what the breed standard describes. There are times when a dog's unusual coat colors may point to other concerning issues such as serious health problems. You might be wondering why the coat color on a Rottweiler has anything to do with health problems, and you might be wondering. The reason is that the genes that influence coat color in a dog can also influence other things such as skin sensitivity, vision and hearing, temperament problems, neurological disorders, immune system disruption, and an increased chance of illness. If you want to know more, click the link below or visit anythingrottweiler.com.